gonna be a bitch like all day, all day, all day since like two o'clock. All right, so this next, this, this, the performer, Miss Jessica Care Moore, is not only an incredible mother, she has an incredible son. He's brilliant. I've seen him on stage. Okay, he does better than some of the adults I know, and he's like six, right? <laughs> All right, and so um, I just want to say she has a concert at the new center area that you have to check out on August 17th. So mark that in your calendars. It's free. It's free. How many of y'all like free? All right, August 17th at the new center area. So if you are not following her on Facebook, you need to be following Jessica Caramore on Facebook so you can get all her updates. She has a new uh, track on iTunes. She's a rock star. She's a poet. She's an author. She has a publishing company. I, I mean, she is the youngest. She is the. <laughs> she has books for sale. She has books for sale. You got to take her home with you. For some of you that really want to take her home, you got to take her books. Yeah, my books are in the alley in my car, right behind this thing. <laughs> And, 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 and at no other show would that be appropriate, but right now, having her books in the alley is quite appropriate, right? Right? So I want, she is the youngest living Showtime at the Apollo legend. Legend, five times winning, doing poetry. Come on now. Y'all about to hear. get down wherever y'all <laughs> but I want y'all to come closer so she can feel your energy okay <laughs> make some room in the back of the alley for more people all right y'all so without further ado I want you to bring it up to the top as if there's a roof above your head and give it up for Jessica No idea how tired I am right now, or if I can like the smile is permanently on my face because I'm so achingly tired. Because I did three neighborhoods today. I did uh, the keynote at the Black Mothers Breastfeeding Conference at the Charles H. Wright at two, and then I went to Belle Isle for the Backpack for Kids Festival that's still happening right now till about nine or ten. And I think there's an after party after this is over on um, Michigan Avenue at the new wine spot that just opened on Michigan Avenue in yeah. Corktown. Yeah. So yeah, so there's an after party there as you guys might, you know, if you're hanging out Saturday night, you can catch that too. So um, I'm really excited though to be on the West Side because this is the era I was born and raised on the West Side. So this is my neighborhood. My brother, what up, Chris? That's my, I know Chris is forever. So did you bring like 25 boys from the hood? Like where are my friends? What? Oh, okay, see. Oh, you represent? Fine, fine, okay. I was like, bring all the cute boys from the neighborhood. Just see to my homes. Anyway, so whatever. Um, and so I feel really good about being here. I even had got like to an argument with some people on the corner today. So I feel like officially like I'm really at the crib. And um, it's so good to be in an alley performing poetry because what the fuck? What better place is that? And, um, and so I want to read some poems and... Um, I'm going to kind of just warm up the mic because I just feel like I want to warm up the mic a little bit. And I'm so excited that me and Ryan are going to be doing a duet piece together with her dancing and my poetry um, in just a second. So I want to open with something. No, this, no. He's going to ask if he wants me to hold my stuff. Thank you. you come, they come to all my shows. I love him. Okay. But no, baby, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got, it. I got him. Old school. I got it. So I'm not going to do this like 12 page manifesto that I wrote the other day. I'm not. I'm not. But I'm going to do pieces of it because I'm on the west side of Detroit and I love my city. And I was gone for 12 years and I came home and I'm real happy to be home. But people say a lot of things about my city that are just not correct. And it gets on my nerves. And so I have to, as poets, it's our job to write 
the real history of what's happening in our community. And so when I'm like in St. Louis or other places, I mean, I've had to fight for Detroit everywhere I go. So, oh, God, it must be really bad there. I'm like, actually, no, it's pretty fresh. Um, a lot of fresh people, a lot of incredible artists. No. What are y'all doing now? Well, the people I know are waking up and doing what they were doing the day before the bankruptcy. So we're going to work. I don't know what you're doing. I'm writing poems and raising my son. Like, I'm, we're living. We're eating. We're breathing. We don't need rice. You know what I mean? Like, don't spend rice. Anyway, so... <laughs> This is just a little piece of something that I can't read the whole thing because it's too long. If you have never slid down the giant slide on a potato sack, then you may not know my Detroit. If you've never eaten a coney at 3 a.m., you may not understand why. It doesn't matter how many games we win or lose, we wear our D hats and tats year round. Our streets were built to the rhythm of a hand clap sound. I am a Detroit Lion on Linwood, a rebellious tiger on Tyreman, a Stanley Cup Karen Red Wing on Rutherford, a Detroit Piston constantly putting up new nets around forgotten white backboards and orange squares. Rebellion cities have never had it easy. Innovative freeways aren't always paved in gold, but that thin strip of M8 we call the Davison is a conduit to every future highway in our nation. And so is the assembly line and steel and wheel of our cars. Look, Detroiters have always kept this country moving. Revolutionary people don't always get good press, but it is in our DNA, it is our bloodline gift to survive. When the surface of your skin has potholes that blast temptation records through your pores, when the tips of your fingers are blessed by international water and you are now under the world's media microscope, constantly checking your arms for track marks and close-ups of how you looked once the high was gone. You are simply one city built above crystals. You are the river of freedom. You are the tenacity of Malcolm, the truth of Sir Joiner. We are the fish fry at Granny's, the swim mobile. Y'all young ones don't know what the swim mobile is, but you should Google it. The Brightmore soccer team, Dynamo's Deli, the Borg Center, the car school for get the children, the old school suite of Dutch grilled donuts, and the sweet potato sensation cakes across the street from the mural cover beauty we call artists. Yeah. Right. We exist in the brilliance of our young debaters. Yeah, your your son, Tawana, why are you talking about mine? Our champion athletes, our self-empowered rockers, our young farmers and dancers and scientists and future social activists. We the 5E Gallery and the Rise Detroit and Black Women Rock. We're in Namdi Gallery and the Charles H. Wright and Goodwells and the opposite of white flight. Our babies are ice dreamers. Young souls on ice hockey players up early at Bustle and Wyoming and Linden. We are cultivated young visual artists at Culture Roots Art Camp inside Mama McKinney's home every summer on Prentice. We are all necessary coaches who act as fathers and moms who create safe sanctuaries and write a passage programs for our daughters. Raised by 1968 men, hollering out their hearts to hide their future children from Reagan's 80s invasion. Men who know music was power and dancing slow was an act of love. Men on the line of assembly, Coleman A. Young men who fought to desegregate fire and police departments and curses were like poetry when they decided to fire back. Politics with the people's conscience and Marvin Gaye was our battle crier. Mm -hmm. We know work. It is our witchcraft, our deep south anxiety attack, our dreams of something greater for the ones that come later, the men who look like daddies even when they weren't, dive hat gangsters against a snakeskin shoe, Sunday best men, Saturday all night men, men, straight back men with pride, organizing frontline union workers, men who made women touch their hats and adjust their slips as they pass. Beautiful Detroit sisters, we are not urban fiction. When the pulse of our city stops beating, then the soul of American music and man-made industry in this country dies. It's like 12 pages, but I'm gonna just stop there. It's like, it's like my Detroit manifesto. Stop messing with my city. We here and we're alive, right? right. That, that, that film, We Are Not Ghosts, have you seen it? Hey, Rolla. Well, we got badass filmmakers in the house. That's what's up. Uh, I'm gonna read some poems. So, um, this is a, a, a piece I wrote, I have a new book coming out called Sunlight Through Bullet, Sunlight Through Bullet Holes. And um, it's about me as a woman and as an artist, you know, being from the city, um, I see a lot of young people here. Like I started burying my friends around 13 or 14 in Detroit. And so when I see, um, you know, my, my friends that are, have made it and are alive, like a young Christopher who I just waved at, who I've known since he was a little boy, like, you know, it's not easy for, for black men to make it in these streets. And their, the opportunities are not the same for, that as it for them as it is for many of us. And um, a lot, I watched a lot of my friends go to jail for long periods of time. So, so some might do bullet holes for me. I've, I've just dealt with 
and to me in my young life, so much pain. I've dealt with so much death. You know, I've had to go to so many funerals that when I did live in Detroit for 12 years, I was kind of happy because I, I had an excuse not to come to a funeral. And now I come home and here I am going to funerals because now I live here. Now I'm reading the poems at the funeral. Like, I don't want to be that poetry girl at the funeral. I'm just, you know, can you write the obituary? So-and-so just got murdered. So-and-so just got killed. She, um, Akira just got beat to death. Like, I don't want to be writing those poems. Um, so, Sunlight Through Bullet Holes is me fighting against it, saying that despite all of the violence and things that happen in cities like Detroit and Chicago and St. Louis and Brooklyn, or wherever, um, where you know things are not balanced ed in the education loop, things are not balanced um, in finances. You know, certain people got all the money, certain other people don't. All of it is set up for us to fail, you know. And so, sunlight through bullet holes for me is saying that I'm not going to let it kill me. Is that I will always find the light in it, and I'll do it for my son, and I'll do it for other people's kids. And that's the point. And so, um, I'm going to read from sunlight through bullet holes, and I was going to read from God is not American, but. I'm an artist and I changed my mind and I just did. So this is um, from Sunlight Through Bullet Holes and it's my new book. And this is a piece that I wrote for Etta James. You guys know Etta James? <laughs> so, okay, I mean, you know, not everybody knows Etta James, but Etta James is who um, passed. And, and her passing really deeply affected me the way that Whitney Houston passing deeply affected me. You know, so we have an old blues woman who died probably with not enough money. And then you have Whitney Houston who just died at 46 in such a sad way. And um, so I don't, I don't, I will not die like that. <laughs> I will not die, y'all just, I'm saying this, in the alley on the west side, I will not die with tracks in my arms. I will not die with nothing up my nose. You, that's really not the story yes, that you yes. hear about King's mama. I'm not gonna be in some bathtub. I'm not gonna be out of my mind. And so that is the revenge on this world, is that you stay sane and you stay clean mm -hmm. and you find a way to live healthy yes. Um, yes. despite the madness that they push on you and your children and your community. So this is called It Ain't Like We Don't. And it's a mantra, kind of a prayer I wrote for Etta James. And all of um, the stanzas in, are in traditional uh, Japanese haiku, so it's all 575. It ain't like we don't like loving. It ain't like we don't like loving. We die for the blues because we born with it. We die for the blues because we born with it. Madness the veil of the mic, our voice flight, memories don't lie. We die broken hearts, transparent art, they clap, pretend to be smart. Proof of existence, feminine fossil for frauds, we cry, we birth, we deliberate smile, forced in our mouths, open, history pours out. It ain't like we don't like loving. It ain't like we don't like loving. We die for the blues cause we born with it. We die for the blues cause we born with it. It ain't like we don't love candles or ashes lit. We the flames smoking. America holds our hearts of royalty, owns our essence rebels. Music is not yours to take. Music is not yours to take. Stone rolling blues runs deep in these thick veins. The beautiful ones, along with the notes, dancing inside a body. Spirit fills the void, laughter measure broke. Holy bread, we melt on tongues. At last, rock and roll gets on its knees. Thanks, mama, she'll come first, they say. It ain't like we pray to a different... It ain't like we pray to a different God, you know. Amen, Ashe, peace. It ain't like we pray to a different God, you know. Amen, Ashe, peace. Wonder what they do with our bones. Build a shrine, queen sleep and death, I guess. Our legs still shake, shed off skin bar wind as breath. Lucy has daughters. Lucy has daughters. Fatherless but still, daddy meant the world. Absence makes art grow fonder. Blind is a blessing when you got eyes everywhere looking for your flaws. Etta is Sunday. Etta is Sunday as I write this 1209. Kind of love these tears. It ain't like we dream of nights and armor shining not since music played. At a wedding stop, pain inspires genius tongue. I made that man great. Know your place, brown girl. Don't, string, don't sing that truth too loud. Scream it through the speakers. It ain't like we don't like loving. It ain't like we don't like loving. We die for the blues because we're born with it. We die for the blues because we're born with it. So that's